This tool is used for analysis of terrestrial, satellite and cable TV digital signals, that is, DVB-T, T2, C, C2, S, S2, S2X, ISDVT or ATSC-1 or ATSC-3.0 standards. The Atlas NG analyzers are compatible with QPSK 16, 32, 64, 256, 1024 and 4096 QAM besides 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256 APSK linear and non-linear modulations. Symbols are continually received by the demodulator and displayed on the screen in a specific pattern called constellation. Symbols are color-coded according to the density of points falling in the same area across time. That is, the greater the amount of impacts in an area, the warmer the color used to plot those symbols. Well-defined points in the constellation diagram imply a transmission link and reception system with low noise and interferences. Symbols appearing scattered around their ideal positions in the constellation convey a transmission link and reception system with a higher degree of noise and interferences. If we press on the cog at the top right corner of the constellation panel, we will find additional setup options such as how the underlying plot grid is displayed, zooming in any of the four plot quadrants, how the symbols are displayed, that is the point size, resetting the plot, clearing all the symbols on the screen and start calculating the constellation again from scratch. Start carrier, stop carrier, default carrier, in some modulations it is possible to calculate the constellation for just a range of carriers. We can select that range by defining the first and last carriers of that range with the start and stop carrier fields. In case you wanted to calculate the signal constellation over its entirety of carriers, just press default carrier. You can as well zoom in and out the constellation plot by pinching the screen using two fingers.